today's project, I'm going to be replacing the uh, incandescent light bulbs for the HVAC controls here with brighter LED lights. And this is on my 2003 Mustang GT. Here's a shot of them on before I'm uh, going to replace them with the LEDs. It's hard to tell because it's still pretty bright outside, but they have a uh, greenish hue to them. And it's pretty dim even for the daytime here. Um, and I wanted something to match my you know, aftermarket stereo lights, and I do have uh, reverse glow um, gauges up here too. Now to start this project, we need to get behind the HVAC controls here. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff that we have to move, but luckily it's very easy. The first thing we have to do is unscrew uh, your shift knob if you have a manual transmission. So next we need to remove the shifter bezel here. So you start by starting um, to, to pull up at either edge and gently with your fingers pull up and work your way around. Like that. Once all the clips are free and clear, you can slide the uh, shifter boot up over the shifter. that and then you do have to undo your 12 volt uh, electrical connection right here so to do that simply press on this clip here and pull and the bezel should be uh, free at that point you can set that aside so the next step will be to remove the actual HVAC and radio uh, bezel piece. Now keep in mind um, this is just a plastic piece so you don't want to use any hard tools like screwdrivers or anything. Your best bet is to use your um, your fingers and what I did is I started at the bottom and gently just pried up. They're just plastic clips that hold this in place. So just take your time, work your way around it, don't rush and be patient. Okay, so now once that is free and clear, keep in mind you have your uh, switches down at the bottom here for your rear defroster, traction control, and fog lights. Um, for our install, I'm not going to bother messing with those. I'm just going to uh, leave the bezel kind of all connected and just kind of move it out of the way because uh, what we really need is um, to gain access to is the actual HVAC uh, panel here. So holding the HVAC uh, in place to the dash um, are four 7 uh, millimeter screws, which I will now undo now with my 7 millimeter socket. Once you have the screws undone, uh, carefully you can now pull this HVAC unit uh, away from the dash. Now you're not going to mess or unplug anything. Um, other than the two bulbs that we're replacing. And the two bulbs in question, um, one, I don't know if you can see down in there, is right there, and the other is right there. So there's two bulbs that uh, illuminate this HVAC panel here. So to remove those, it's uh, as easy as um, just counterclockwise twisting uh, them out. So I will put the camera down and do that. So here's a shot of the, the new uh, LED on the left and the old incandescent on the right. You can see um, the similar connections there. Um, I bought these online from a company called Herku and I went with the white color. So to install the new LED, I'm just going to put it back in the socket and turn about a quarter turn uh, clockwise. So um, I just wanted to test it out with the one bulb in. You can already see, even with the brightness, you can see how bright um, this is now. And over here on the right, we still have the uh, old incandescent. You can see how kind of dim that is compared to um, the one on the left here. Here's a shot with both LEDs uh, installed. You can see how much brighter it was uh, even in the daytime. 
compared to the uh, stock incandescent bulbs. Okay, so now that I know the LEDs are working, um, one thing I'm not satisfied with is that stock uh, green color. So what I did was I removed the um, the knobs and I basically just pulled straight out and that's how you remove um, the three the three knobs here. Now um, what I'm doing now is removing this faceplate and that's uh, done easily enough with a uh, flathead screwdriver and there are four um, holes here. You just kind of put the screwdriver in and gently pry and then there's four additional ones um, at the bottom. You do the same thing to remove this okay. plate. So now I have the face plate off and on the back side here you can see this um, plastic piece. Um, it's a plastic uh, light diffuser. You can see some um, the green tint below it on um, the left and over here on the right along with the green tint um, for each of the knobs you can kind of see that and that's due to a piece of green in there so I'm gonna bring these things inside to my workshop and I'm gonna do a little operation on them to remove that green and um, make them look a little bit more um, uh, brighter and more of a white color okay so now I'm inside and what I'm going to first do is work on each of the individual knobs. So you can see here, if I go close, um, there's a plastic lens, and then below that is the uh, the green uh, tint. So when it's illuminated, it gives this little light right there that green hue. So what I've been doing is prying up that lens very carefully with very small tools. I have a, a small screwdriver here. So, I started here with uh, the screwdriver, and I gently prod this piece up and out. So, you can see what you're left with is uh, this plastic piece with that uh, green, um, I don't know what you'd call it, piece of tape or whatever, reflective green there at the bottom of it. So what I'm going to do now is just scrape that green tint off so it'll just shine uh, white. So here's a shot of it after um, I scraped off the, the green um, decal there. I used a fine grit uh, sandpaper just to lightly scuff it off because um, I wasn't really having any luck just kind of picking at it with my um, my fingernail. So just a little bit of sandpaper, Not I didn't go nuts and um, you can see now when you look through it there's no no green at all just clear so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other two knobs and then after that I'll move on to the actual faceplate okay so now that I finished removing all the uh, the green tint from the knobs the next thing I need to do is carefully remove this plastic um, light uh, diffuser for lack of a better term um, so we can get at these uh, this um, green tint here in the middle because we're going to take that out uh, and then just put the light diffuser back in without that tint because I want to do away with the green. So carefully you will notice that um, there are these little um, tabs. Um, so you want to use, you know, I'm using a small flathead and some needle nose pliers um, to carefully pry this up very gently. Um, so I can get to the the green tint underneath. So once you finally pry this up, you can simply take this, put this aside, and then this screen right here should come right up. And this is what was given, you know, the green hue um, to the knobs. So I'm going to set this aside since I'm no longer going to use it. Put this back in place. And some of the tabs did kind of break off those little plastic nubs, so what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of super glue just to keep this uh, nice and, and firm in place. Okay, now I'm back in the car. I have the light dispersor uh, glued in place. So what I'm going to do next is um, place uh, the faceplate itself back onto the housing here. So this just kind of snaps into place, lining up the, uh, the four tabs on the top 
in the bottom. So once the face plate is back on, um, I'm going to do one last double check, make sure the uh, lights uh, work. You can see um, how bright they are now. And so since I know they both work, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bolt the face plate back to the dash using the four um, 7 millimeter screws. Okay, once the face plate is attached to the dash and is secure, you can now put the, uh, the radio and HVAC bezel um, back into place. And this should just snap in. Just be very gentle as you work your way around. Make sure everything's lined up and just gently push in. Now at this point you can add back the actual um, knobs that go to the HVAC here. So these are very simple. You just press on and push forward and they snap right off and go right back on like that. So I'm going to put those three on now. Okay, so next uh, what we have to do is reinstall the shifter bezel. So we can start by working the shifter uh, through the boot. We do right here. And then what we're going to do is connect that 12 volt connection, which I will do now. So here, uh, the 12 volt just kind of snaps into place, like that. So now, uh, the trick to reinstall on this is just um, start at one edge, kind of like what you did when you uh, uninstalled it. Work your way around. Like that. And now uh, lastly, all you have to do is reinstall your shifter knob and that simply screws into place. Here's another shot with them uh, with the lights on and the knobs on. Now it's a little tough to see um, in the bright daylight, but I'll do another video uh, tonight to show this in the dark. Here we can see uh, them lit up at night. You can see the light output better matches uh, the light output of my aftermarket stereo. Uh, this is not an expensive project by any means, just the cost of the LEDs. Um, and some time and a little bit of effort and you can achieve this look yourself. Uh, thank you very much for watching.